our Tuesday week of Astronomicon and flights are booked and people are showing up Thursday morning and this is the calm before everything really hits. Going into year one, no one was like, this is not gonna work. We just didn't know how well it would succeed. Growing into year two, which we've clearly documented was an amazing success and has continued to grow in the right fashion. We are here to take a special little moment out of our day to uh, tell you we did it again. We did it again and we want to say thank you to everybody, man, from the talent to the vendors, the volunteers, to the, to the con goers. This was three times better than it was the year before and the year before that. We, we, we like documenting everything. We like showing people what we do. We're proud of what we do. I'm excited for the whole thing, you know? No, I am the Astronomicon champ still. No one's taking that title from me. As I'm sitting here trying to think of things to say to you, I'm sitting here also thinking of, of what, what still needs to be done and, and, and what emails and stuff I still have yet to send. And... Hey Kayla, it's Mike with Astronomicon Calling. The reason I'm calling is I wanted to pick your brain about the restaurant inside the hotel. Mitch, Ken's gonna talk to Mitch. Yeah, can Paul talk to Mitch today? Paul, Paul can definitely talk yeah. to Mitch, yes. It never stops even when it looks like we're, we're calm and collected and, and Everything's running smooth. Trust me. It's it, up here. It's 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 complete chaos. So I hope you guys enjoy Hi, I'm Eric and me together with my friend Tom Gonzalez um, We handle the graphic design side of everything Astronomicon The original logo had uh, the earth the Sun and the moon in it and we ended up simplifying it a little bit to become what it is, which ended up being pretty cool looking in my opinion. Saturday at the Haunted High Ends panel. I've got one of the biggest announcements I think we've achieved as Twisted, and it's, it's gonna mean a lot. Do, you, do I spoil it now, Nick, since it's coming out later? Or do we get it there? We get it there. We get it there. There are so many cool interactions that people walk away from as a lifetime memory. Seeing Gold Dust last year interact with one specific child for 15 minutes, I know that kid for the rest of his life will be like, I love Gold Dust. Thank you to Astronomicon. It, it's nice to know that, that we're able to bring things to the table that, that other conventions don't or aren't able to. And, and it's because of the relationships we've built over the years. And All our friends have come through three years in a row. And good old Sid Hay, not here with us this year. We love him and miss him. And you know what? All this, I'm happy. I'm happy. Hearing the reviews afterwards, especially getting uh, Bear hugs from some of these celebrities as they're leaving uh, Detroit and heading back to where they're from, whether it's LA or New York, and promoting Astronomicon even when they're not here anymore. Last year, uh, I myself, Mr. Astronomicon, dubbed Ming Chen Mr. Astronomicon. So he is actually the new official Mr. Astronomicon because he does everything around there. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are too kind. I love it. Have a great time. You too. Uh, listen. This, I go to a lot of conventions, none of them are like this. So if you're even anywhere near Astronomicon this year, next year, like in the future, you gotta come here. This is day three, like I, I, wanna, I wanna be here forever. Come to Astronomicon. <laughs> If it wasn't for the fans coming out, if it wasn't for the people being interested in pop culture, you know, without them, Astro absolutely wouldn't happen. So yeah, those are, those are 
I think those are enough accolades for everybody.